All right, doing a little dam fishing here with some fresh skipjack. I'm basically fishing the hole that the spill gates make, but I'm also going to put a couple out in the more shallow water out here where the boat is. I've seen some really big fish on the sonar in the hole, and there's a bunch of fish out here. So I should be able to catch something today if the boat doesn't spin in circles. I will put the bigger pieces in the deeper water. drop a smaller piece right below the boat. The wind is pushing the boat sideways and a little bit of back current. I guess I'll drop this one straight down too. All right, I'm gonna fish like this for a little bit while rigging this rod up and then I might reconfigure a little bit. I thought for sure I had the wind and everything figured out, but obviously I don't. So I might have to move the boat a little bit. That didn't take long. I think he's still there. Ah, took my bait. I didn't even have a chance to uh, rig up my other rod. So that's a good sign. that one was in the hole. See if I can get my rod rigged up before another fish drops by. That was the siren for the lock, so I'm going to have to watch what direction the water goes when they start letting out water. I'll probably be in the same position, probably. I got a big head on my newly rigged rod and reel, so let's see if this gets something. Not going to put it out there that far. Alright, let's catch a fish. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh man. That was a good hit. On that big head. Could have been a little fish, something not big enough to eat the head. But I don't know. I think that was a good takedown. Something's been messing with this one over here as well. Maybe there's a bunch of little fish in the area. Hopefully the bigger ones drop by. Again, we're gonna pop. We got them this time. Maybe. 
again on the big head. Ah, oh, popped. I have no idea what it is. It's gotta be, it's gonna be like a 10 pounder. Trying to eat it. And it took the head. Man. <laughs> hook sharp. Yep. Super sharp hook. Must have been grabbing like the outside of the head. So, hmm, I wonder what I put back out there. Maybe a smaller head. One of my smaller heads. That was strike two. Wonder if he's finally got himself hooked. He is tearing my bait to shreds. I'm gonna cut this down to a smaller piece and send it back out there. All right, it's basically a ball of goop now. Watching the water behind me from the lock. And the fish on. A small head. Coming towards me. Let's see what this is. Not wanting to come up. There we go. <laughs> nice blue cat. I'm getting rocked by waves now from the lock. I'm hung on this one. Probably the worst time to catch a fish. Going to grip him in. I guess I'm going to have to wait till this is done before I show you guys the fish.
All right. That was the absolute worst timing ever. When they were letting water out of the lock, it creates big waves, which bounce off of the dam, creating even bigger waves, turning this into a big washing machine. Now that's over, let's look at the fish. Very nice blue cat. Very, very nice. I don't know how big he is. Eight to 10 pounds, maybe a little bit more. I'm not going to weigh him. I'm just going to let him go. He's been in the boat a little bit too long. I'm going to give you guys a closer look. And let him go. Nice blue cat. All right. Let him go, let him grow. And that's what I'm looking for here. Some nice sized blue cats. I know they get bigger, however, that's a respectable fish in my book. Now to get my bait back out, I'm gonna have to move the boat. All right, I'm gonna try to set up here on the bridge column. Now this is not good conditions. I don't have enough current to be like right in front of it and the wind is blowing me sideways so i don't know how this is going to go but i'm going to try it anyway much left. Why not? Let's use it. Now yeah, we get two more pieces of bait. And then maybe catch a fish here. Going to town on it. Probably a little one. <laughs> cool. Nibbling on it for a little while there. Not for sure. I wouldn't be able to hook it. I guess I did. <laughs> That's cool. I haven't been here that long either. <laughs> All right. Caught the bait thief. <laughs> oh, you're a channel. Yeah, a little channel cat. What are you doing here? <laughs> channel catfish below the dam. That's cool. Look at that guy. <laughs> Whoa. Make a good meal right there, but I'm gonna let him go. Let's blow Fort Nasty. I don't know what piece that was. Now I gotta get another piece on here and send it back out there. Awesome. Oh, hey. What are you doing? stealing my bait. And I don't see how that could hook a fish. There we go. <laughs> I don't know. I 
might be enough action and fish up here that I might take clients up here. So if you're interested in a guided fishing trip, I'll take you here and see if we can catch a big 100 pounder. They are here sometimes. Not all the time. I know some of the things I saw in the sonar are pretty big. And uh, they're letting water out again. <laughs> and yeah, we'd have to contend with that every now and then as long as they're not spilling. If they're spilling, I'd either go down river, go to Loudoun, or maybe even go to Kingston. But this is a good sign. All the fish, they're coming up river, coming up to the dam. Should be good fishing for the next month or so. My guide website is fishingwithbilly.com. It's also good to be on the water to see the sights as well. Plenty to see out here. <laughs> Two rods getting hit. That one and that one. I did see a bunch of little fish on the sonar. So maybe we got a lot of little ones up here. Which is good. All I have to do is put smaller baits on if I want to catch them. And I'm trying for a bigger one right now. That's why this video is probably only going to have two fish, maybe three on it. If he chews on it long enough, he'll get hooked. We will see. I'm wondering if this guy's on here. up the bait <laughs> I am thinking about moving but I can't go back to the spot that I was at because that other boat where the guy had fought that snag for like an hour and then it let go uh, that boat has moved to where I was fishing. Probably because I caught that fish. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Probably give this 30 more minutes and then figure something out. Alright, I think this is going to be the last spot of the day. Fishing a barge that's right downstream from the dam. Got really, really slow current because they're only running one, maybe two generators. Who knows, maybe I'll be able to pull a flathead out of here. The water is 67 degrees, so they should still be moving around. Would be nice to get a slam, which is a channel cat, a flathead catfish, and a blue cat. Oh, oh, oh man, <laughs> right as I'm talking too. He is on something. <laughs> I think he's out. Good, good, good. That was that was perfect timing. Wow. He does not want to come up. He's acting like a flathead. Maybe I do have a slam now. If I can get this guy in the boat. Come on up. <laughs> oh, I saw him. Uh, I don't know if he's a flathead, but no, nice blue. I'll take him anyway. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, this guy is a, it's a pretty big one. I think I'm going to have to get my net out. 
got it right there just off screen yeah that's a nice blue well then <laughs> coming to the bar chair paid off all right Come on, there we go. Doing this one-handed is fun. There we go. <laughs> Come on over. Oh, there we go. Now that is a nice blue. And this was the piece that was the furthest over towards the shore. And it wasn't that big of a piece either. It was uh, about that big. A tail section. Team Catfish double action circle hook. Right in the corner of the mouth. And the sinker is in the net. I'm going to show them to you guys first, and then I'm going to weigh them. Nice one! That is a big blue. Alright. Cool. Now that is a respectable fish. A lot bigger than the one previous. All right, let's get a weight on this guy. I think 20 pounds, maybe 25. The best and safest way to weigh one of these bigger fish is in the net. The net's about one pound. 21 pounds, so 20 pounds. All right, time to release them. All right, gonna let them go. Someday this guy's gonna be a hundred pounder. Whoa. There you go, straight down. All right, gonna put a big head where I had that little bait. Maybe we can get something bigger. Tell you what, popping a 20 has been getting harder and harder in this reservoir. So that was a good fish, all things considered. I used to get them easily almost every trip, but now it's not every trip. Hopefully over time it will recover. Some of the northern states are finally putting in catfish regulations that will definitely help with the pay lake problem. When you have multiple ponds getting 1,500 pounds worth of fish like every week, it does hurt the population of whatever lake they're pulling from. And they were hitting Watts Bar hard until they found out about Guntersville. And we're getting a bite over here. So, the fish have come up river. It is officially fall. Got another nibbler. That is a pretty big piece and it has some of the gut pocket on it. So I'm not surprised there's little ones chewing on it. It's been a really good day. Well, it looks like you finally got hung or hooked. Or a bigger one dropped by. Ooh. Sorry I didn't get that takedown. <laughs> It happens sometimes. 
Huh. I don't think he's quite as big as that other one. And it's a fish. That big piece, maybe it's a flathead. <laughs> I really want to slam. That is a big piece of bait. He chewed right through it. It's a blue, I think. Oh, he's barely hooked too. Bigger than the channel. Can I boat flip this guy? Oh my goodness. A little bit big for boat flipping. Open up. Cool. More than three fish on the video. Ha! There you go. Nice Tennessee River blue. It's got a weird eye. It didn't hook him in the eye. But you can see that. I don't know if that'll show up on the camera. But nice. Really dark colored. Probably because of uh, extra oxygen in the water. Right on. I get to keep my bait, even though it's uh, it's torn up pretty good. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it was much, much bigger than this. I'm just going to reuse it. Put it right back out there. That one was away from the barge, so that tells you that the catfish are moving. All right, this has been a very productive day on the water. I wanted to come here just to see if the fish have come up to the dam like they do in early fall. So I could probably officially say the fall bite is on and hopefully it will get better. Today is almost a bluebird sky day and I was able to get a 20 pounder. So really good. If there's ever a cloudy day, I bet this place is going to be on fire. And I'd love to take you guys with me as well, either here on a video or as a guided trip. Now, as always, I want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to watch my video. I really, really appreciate it. And if you do me a huge, huge favor, hit that thumbs up to show you like my video. And I really do like this cold weather. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you next time.